All right, everybody, as you can tell by this box, it is time to open and see what has come in the mail today to David Williamson in Portland, Oregon, the toy car collector. That's me. This box came from North Carolina. Now, let me warn, tell you something, warn you about something that the post office will do to you. And so if you're ever shipping anything, be aware that the largest box you want to use is a 12 inch cube box or any combination of 12 times 12 times 12. And uh, the reason being is that they will like double up your cost if you go over that. This box was about 17, 13, 14, something like that. 17 this way, 14, 14. And uh, it did cost $104 to get it here with insurance and everything. But let's open this box. One of the things we're going to look for is was there any dead airspace that the post office charged 30 bucks to deliver those boogers. Got to watch them. Watch them like a hawk. All right, let's open it up and see. All right. We've got some newspaper. Yep, 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 yep. There, the post office earned $30 for absolutely no reason. Watch out for that. There it is down there. All right, what do we got here? I think we've got uh, collector pins. Throw those open here. Possibly, no, those are cars, cars. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's another one in there. Okay, wow. Okay, and the 24 car case. Looks to be in decent shape. This is one with the triple closures on it. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Yes, the post office charged 30 bucks to ship this paper but oh well live and learn but do watch out for that 12 by 12 by 12 multiply that out you get 1732 i believe any combination of that and you'll be good so let's get down here to the desk and start seeing exactly what we got okay now what's ex particularly exciting about this collection is that uh the fellow uh, contacted me and had a list of cars and I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that. So I called him up and I said, how in the world did you get those particular cars? And he said that his dad had gone to a toy show, toy fair show. Now there are some Matchbox in here, just some old uh, beat up ones, but that's okay. That is, uh, there are some things in there. Actually, you know, this Matchbox with Jeep, there's five good wheels, tires on it. So that's always good for something. Anyway, uh, so he said his dad had gone to a toy fair and got the cars. And I was like, man, oh man, those are some special cars. Oh, there we go, we got a little Land Rover. We're just opening up these matchboxes. There's a few matchboxes in here, but the, the, rear, the, rear, the real core of this collection is about five really special cars. And that these matchboxes are not them. Look at that little yellow bus. Little yellow bus, okay. Now, I always enjoy telling people, you know, they'll call me up and go, I got Matchbox and I got Hot Wheels. Well, Hot Wheels are valuable in any condition. They really are. Other, but other cars are not. Matchbox are not valuable at all if they're beat up. They just aren't. So there's a variety of cars in here. There's actually a couple of other things in here, too, including a Tyco slot car. It says Tarantula on it. It's funny. It's a Mercedes C111. That's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Slot cars. There was another slot car too. Here's a Porsche. The little body there, lighted. Tires are off of it, but I have tires to put on that. I usually try to run it around the track, see if they run. Or put them up for sale. Oh, that's sad. That was got a cracked body. That's too bad. That's all right. They're not super valuable. I don't know about that Mercedes though. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. Here's another one. Cool. I usually just put all this stuff in a box. I don't really have time to mess with it, but that's that's pretty cool. Is that backwards? I don't know. That is a chaparral, I believe. Pretty cool. I'll put these up here just because they're so darn cool. Slut cars are neat. They're neat. Oh, and the mystery is going to keep building because we got to get through these matchbox. Oh my goodness, I got a ton of these. This is like one of the most unpopular cars of all time a number 26 cement mixer i could barely get rid of those things 
I had a ton of them from different collection. Every collection comes with one. Oh, this Fisco Static. Somebody's uh, got a Johnny Lightning wheel in the back door of this popular. That's actually a popular model, and this is a popular model. They're really not worth anything in this condition, though, because there's not that many Matchbox collectors, and the ones that there are want mint and mint in box. So just keep that in mind. But Matchbox are kind of a throw-in when they're in this condition. Oh, now we got something with a hot heap. A hot heap in lime. Not great shape. Let's get my magnifiers on so I can really look at this thing. Where did they go? Where did they go? Hey, there they are. Check this out. Magnifiers. They actually still make these things, but this one I got it at Goodwill in a very vintage box. Okay, where'd that little booger go? All right, we're in the screen here. This one uh, is pretty rough. Looks like these wheels could probably be straightened as long as they don't pull out or anything like that. Usually it's easier to straighten them if you uh, can take the tire off. But, you know, when they're bent like this, it's uh, kind of risky because you could, when you pulled on the tire, you might pull the axle out. So, yeah, that one will go in the bargain bin. The bargain bin, nothing special about that. And a matchbox, nothing special about that. Not Porsche 910, it's kind of an interesting model. Ah, more matchbox. Oh, this is nerve wracking. Matchbox, matchbox. Nerve wracking because I know there's good things in here. I know it. Oh, well, this is kind of interesting. Not in great shape either, but I've never had one of these. It's a CQ Mercedes 300 SL. Pretty beat up, unfortunately. Would make a cool model to repaint and customize, wouldn't it? That would be cool. Put some red lines on there. Yeah, all right, we'll put that down in the junk box. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, look at this. This is a, oh boy, I hope the other cars aren't like, don't look like this. Um, wow. This is not in great shape here, but this was a store display car. Because that's some of these cars in here are from the store display. And that one is pretty rough. Pretty rough. I have that one already in a store display model. Oh no. Okay, well, you know, sometimes there's disappointments. Uh, gold store display T Bird. Wow, these looked a lot better in the pictures. Okay, all right. Well, there's, there's two I'm really hoping through our survivors. But uh, I'm not, I can kind of... Let's see, that was not a Hot Wheel. This is kind of neat. It's not a Hot Wheel. It's another Siku Opal Olympian. I think I have a box for one of these around here. Too bad it's not better shapes. Missing its headlight on that side. Oh, well. Oh... Oh, 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 more matchbox. Nothing. Oh, boy. Here's the Diora. Probably a store display model. Not in great shape. Tires are worn. Got played with pretty good, but the board survived. And it's got good boards on it anyway. Oh, boy. This is going... I haven't... <clears throat> Okay, we've got a Ford J car. Ford J car in orange. Oh man. Wow. Okay. Man, I haven't had a. This is a bad start. I haven't had a uh, disappointing lot of cars like this for a while. Oh dear gosh. Shit. This is bad news. Well, oh, look at this. Here it is brown Camaro. Brown Camaro, but look at the condition. I mean, it's still valuable to someone. Brown Camaro. Yeah. It's still, I mean, it's still halfway decent. But I was really hoping that would be nice. Oh my gosh, I was hoping. I had my fingers crossed. They looked pretty decent in the pictures. Fleet side. Aqua US. 
Aqua US, fleet side, teal, aqua. Oh. <clears throat> well, let me get a drink. No, not that kind of drink. Kroger seltzer water, lemon lime. This stuff is delicious. All right, we got a, uh, oh, look at this. Finally get a car in good shape and it's a splitting image. Oh, boo-hoo. Let me turn off the camera and go cry in a corner for a minute. Oh, man. Oh, man. Shoot. Shoot. And there it is. Antifreeze Python. Antifreeze Python. Antifreeze Python. A little Volkswagen in blue. U.S. Uh -huh. Yeah, I haven't really... Oh, man. You know, honestly, disappointments do not come along very often in the world of buying Hot Wheels. Here's a store display. Barracuda. A little had the glute, hood glued at one time. There it is. It's got, at least it's not too toned. It's, it'll clean up a little bit better than that. Well, straighten out those wheels and whatnot but I think uh wow wow we I was really hoping that would be better purple beadnik they're definitely cars from the store display though not sure how we got them exactly at the toy fair but there they are And another matchbox. Okay, now the number one. I'm not sure now. I don't know what your opinion is, but uh, there are two. You know, the gold T-bird is is fairly fairly common around town, but um, around the world. But the there's two most important cars in this lot: the brown Camaro, the brown Camaro, which I would really like a mid one. And this is. I mean, it's okay, but I like mid cars, so you know, hey, sue me. I do, I don't. I've been doing this for so long, but you know, somebody will absolutely love having this car at the right price. And the last, and the most important, this one, the pink Mustang. The pink Mustang. Look at that light pink. Isn't that pretty color? How did they get it to look like that? This car would benefit from a slight upgrade on the wheels. Now, you don't want to go crazy and put mid wheels on it. That wouldn't look right. But uh, as far as you, you know, swapping original wheels around, that's that's fine. Or you could leave them on like that. It doesn't have any toning to speak of. Got a shiny motor. But man, look at that. If that was only a mid car, mm -mm -mm, I was hoping. Problem is, you know, when you look at uh, cars on the internet, you know, maybe it's like that, like that, like that, without the light, maybe like that, and you can hope. Well, 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 I'll just, you know, I'll have to work on a price for these. I don't even know what, what to say, and, you know, when they're this rough, but, uh, you know, and. A lot of people will leave comments like, oh, you're too picky. Yeah, exactly. I am too picky. But, you know, the people I deal with are very picky. Very picky. This is when when I sell things on my website, it's not like eBay where, you, you know, if you want it, you got to go for it. You know, no, it's just sitting there. And, uh, you know, if you don't want it, you don't, you know, you're like, ah, oh, I think I'll wait for a better one. They don't do that on eBay. Two guys get on, you know, head to head auction and they bid things up, you know, higher than the, than they should be and they just live with it but um okay all right now i was hoping to fill up my 68 store display with mint models because i don't have this one i don't have this one right now but um this one I, this one is not terrible it's um it's decent it's got good color prop the hood up looks even better like that and uh yeah it gets get a little better wheels on there be fine now one thing i do recommend is when you have a car that's this hard to get and you decide to swap the wheels do not pull the wheels off just take dike pliers snip them 
you don't want to wreck the axles and then you can straighten this out put the wheels on and uh, call it good that's decent that's decent decent and then the brown Camaro decent it'll clean up a little better than it looks right now but got a lot of dark spotting you might not be able to see all the dark spotting and pitting and uh, well there it is I guess I make the best out of it if I can so, sorry to be such a downer on this but man I was you know hoping for mint cars right and uh, I didn't get it so anyway it's always worth getting you know getting everything and and uh, fortunately because i am been doing this so long I don't have to pay in advance for collections they people send me collections and then we work out a price we always have a preliminary price that we discuss but um, most of the times it works out just fine and uh, everything is 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 good and uh, this is just one of those times where I was really hoping for something better than what it is here but it's the world of Hot Wheels and I'm still happy because I get to do this all the time every day all the time and uh, I get to share this with you as well so I thank you for watching my video and I do have over 570 videos for your watching pleasure so check them out and start with maybe these four we will see you later.